Hello, hello guys, Mr. ATC, as always, back to you for another video of housing throughout recycling. And today I'm going to show you how to create a simple bunch using some pallet wood. Alright, let's take a look. Alright, so as you can imagine, one of the first things to do is to collect the different pallet wood in order to remove the nails. And as you can see, I already prepared everything, so I have all the different wooden slats ready to be worked on. And one of the main reasons why I'm removing the different nails is to make sure that I don't have too much metals when I'm going into my thickness planner in order to clean the different surface of the wood so for those of you following me since the beginning you know that I'm using a metabo thickness planner and it's helping me to clean the wood on both sides then when they are all cleaned I'm going back to my work table in order to see how I'm gonna make the different cut and as you may have seen it in the preview video that we've shared with you a few days ago this bench is going to follow the same patterns that I'm doing usually. So here I'm going to my mitre saw in order to make the first cut and assemble the top of this bench. And as you know, with this type of design, it's very easy to make the cut using the mitre saw, but you can also use the jigsaw. Here I'm going back again to my mitre saw to make the cut for this time the side of the design and the top as well to start after, after that, that assembling them each all of, of them the different wooden using pieces, my nail gun using and my some nail wood glue gun and some wood glue So now that the side and the top are done, I'm gonna put them all on my work table in order to fix them and start using my grinder, using a diamond, in order to sand as much as possible to remove the different excess of wood. All right, so this is pretty much it for the top and the side. So now it's time for me to start assembling and here, in order to assemble, I, I will be using uh, four long screws measuring, I think it was 8 cm, yes, it was 8 cm on both sides in order to assemble the side to the top. Then, in order to make sure that the bench itself is not opening when we are sitting on it, when I am sitting on it, I am adding a large piece of wood in between the small legs in order to make sure that it's not opening then here we are with an easy bench that you can easily create at home I would like to give a big thanks to our partner for this video Yves Rocher Antilles which is supporting us for different projects 